I think now to Dave Leventhal, who heads the federal politics reporting team at the Centre for Public Integrity. That's a non-profit investigative journalism organisation. Dave, good to have you with us. So President Trump saying his son is innocent and he was being transparent when he released this uh, string of emails. But don't they show the lengths to which the Trump camp was willing to go to uh, discredit their presidential rival? Without question, and that shouldn't be surprising in the context of politics in general. Both sides, Democrats and Republicans, spend an incredible amount of time, effort, and money trying to get dirt on their opponents. So that in and of itself uh, isn't really new to politics. In fact, it's quite old to politics. But what is different about this particular situation was the extent to which Donald Trump Jr. was going to uh, to work with, uh, to potentially coordinate with uh, a, a Russian entity, uh, a Russian lawyer, in order to get information that he believed uh, and that he set up this meeting for to get information about Hillary Clinton and uh, coming from uh, a, a source that uh, was not American, uh, that in fact was coming from a country that, of course, is a, a U.S. adversary in about every which way that you can cut it. Right. And, and this is a major problem for President Trump, isn't it? Because they do appear to undermine what the White House has been saying, that there has been no collusion between uh, the, the Trump campaign team and Russia. It certainly doesn't help. Now, there is a question as to whether the uh, actions of Donald Trump Jr. were illegal in any way. And you better believe that the special counsel who's uh, investigating this matter, that the House and Senate uh, who are investigating uh, this matter of what Russia and the Trump campaign and what Russia and Donald Trump were doing, if anything at all, uh, they're going to look into that and uh, looking into that uh, to a great degree. But uh, at its face, uh, this is something that uh, at the very least is uh, incredibly embarrassing and a great distraction for Donald Trump and his administration at a time when Donald Trump himself, as recently as a few days ago, said, look, we need to move beyond the Russia thing. Well, guess what? The Russia thing is not being moved on. Uh, it's uh, going in the wrong direction for Donald Trump right now. And uh, this is, if anything, going to consume the Trump administration for many, many months to come, almost at minimum. These investigations are not going away. And the talk uh, throughout the nation, uh, which is hanging over the Trump administration like a cloud, that is not going away either. Yeah, I was just going to say uh, that would be wishful thinking on President Trump's behalf. I mean, the big question is, is how how much did President Trump know about all of this and when did he know it? And that's a question that Donald Trump Jr. in an interview with Sean Hannity, the Fox News commentator last night, didn't answer straight up. Uh, he was asked by Sean Hannity, hey, did you, I'm paraphrasing here, did, did your father know? Did you tell your father? And he, uh, Donald Trump Jr., sidestepped that question, more or less said, well, there wasn't anything to tell, uh, but didn't straight up say whether he talked to his father about this, whether Donald Trump, the president, knew about this. So it, it would be of a great interest, I think, to investigators if, in fact, Donald Trump had known about this meeting, knew the details about this meeting, knew what this meeting was for, or at least the intent of this meeting, what that was all about at the time that it was actually happening back last summer when Donald Trump was on the cusp of be becoming the Republican nominee. And Russia was not a thing at that point, but certainly the investigation that's taking place now is looking into that period when uh, around the time Donald Trump was set to become the Republican nominee. And uh, that could be great inf information of great interest, again, to those investigators. Dave, good to speak with you. Thank you very much indeed for that, David Leventhal there.